Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make these really easy earrings only out of seed beads. I will show you step by step and this could be even a beginner's tutorial um, and I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make them. And the materials are also really easy and everybody has them in their stash. Okay, so now if you want to support me and want to see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And um, you could like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me with this and I will answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I also posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. And you could also check my merch store where you could find mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, pillows, phone covers and so many other stuff. And the designs are made especially from me for you. They are a great present for your bidding friends or for yourself. And in this way you support me, my channel and my mission. And you could find links that there at the eye icon and down there in description. So now, thank you so much for watching and I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and for this video what I'm going to use are two colors of 11 seed beads. I'm using ear wires, Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. You could use monofilament, whatever you like. And I'm using here size 10 beading needle. I will put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm also using scissors. Okay, and I will start in a minute. Okay, and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up four of these beautiful black 11 O's. Okay, I have them on my needle. I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and how I'm making this knot by making a loop and going twice with my tail thread through the loop I've made and then I pull and in this way I have a secure knot surgeon's knot okay then I will go through my next C bead And I will take one seed bead and I'm going through the following. One more. Go through here. And I will repeat this two more times. In this way I'm forming a second row of beads. Okay. then I'm going through the following seed bead like that and now I will form a third row okay taking three silver beads going here to the following and I will take three more And I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay. Now I will go through all of my silver beads and exit here after the three of them. And I will take one more silver seed bead, just one. And I'm going through the following silver, pulling, then go through the next two silvers, take one silver and go through these two. And through the last one. Okay, one, K, 
okay then I'm exiting out of this angle bit here okay and I will take three C beads and go through the next angle bit then again three go here three more and I will continue this until the end of this row Okay, now I have this and I want to go through these two black beads and exit in my next row. And here in my next row I need five silver beads. Okay, I have my five and I'm going through the following black bead. I need five more. Okay, going through the next one and again go here and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and pay attention here, I'm going through the black one. Okay, and here what I want to do is go through three beads. And here I'm exiting through the middle bead here, this one. And what I want to take are seven black beads. And here are my seven and I'm going to the next middle bead. So here I have two, here I have two and this is my middle bead. And I will take seven more. Okay, seven again. Go through the following. And again. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. Okay. And um, now you see how it doesn't look very good, but we should fix it by adding additional thread pads. So I'm going through three black beads skipping this middle one in the center and going through the next three beads and you could go through the silver as well now this one you should pull in this direction and when you pull your thread you see how you're forming an angle here then go through the next three black beads Skip this one at the angle and go through the next three and through the silver. If it doesn't want to go in this direction, you should pull it, okay, like that. Then go through the next three 
and skip this one here and go for the following tree and through the silver and pull then again repeat this tree skip the one at the angle go through four pull and continue this three more times and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i just did my last angle and what i need to do here is go through some beads in this direction and reach the angle bead and this is where i'm going to attach my ear wire okay this is the angle bead I will take my ear wire, take one seed bead, go through the ear wire, then take one more seed bead, go back through the angle bead. And in this way I'm forming something like a loop here, okay? And when I pull, I have them together. And what I do is that I reinforce this. Okay, and do this as many times as you want. And in my next step, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. You see, probably a half an arm span is too much of a thread. You could use this for another earring when you cut it for the second one. So prob probably half an arm span for two earrings. Okay then i'm making a loop here going once going second time through the loop i've made and pulling and you could repeat this several more times and when you feel your work is secure and you're ready you could cut your thread okay And now, guys, your earring is ready. Okay, guys, and when I repeat all of those steps one more time, I have another earring. And uh, if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my next upcoming videos for fresh uh, beading ideas absolutely free. And uh, if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. Don't forget to like, share and comment and you really help me with this and I will answer to all of your questions in the comments. And don't forget to check my merch store where you could find mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, tanks, phone covers, pillows and so many other stuff. And when you buy from there you support me, my mission and my channel and uh, there is a link at the i icon and down there in description if you want to check it out. That was all from me. Bye bye.